So a few weeks ago, I got an email from Rustoleum asking me if I can make them a live edge river table using their new super glazed epoxy. So we ended up making a pub table, and today I'm going to show you how we did it. Start it up. Now for the top, we're gonna to be using this 80 inch long slab. So I'm gonna start by cutting it in half, 40 inches each side, and then the top is gonna to get milled down to around 36 inches square. So we're gonna cut it in half, and then we're gonna start lining it up side by side and see how we want to position our river. Now for the epoxy for this river table, we're gonna be using Wacko's uh, new super glaze that comes pre-tinted in a metallic blue is the color of choice for this project. So I've got these two slabs coming together about how I want to. And we're going to now, I've actually got a yard sign here that is perfect for things like this. So I'll cut a couple of strips of this and then tape the seam, lay that below, and then tape the edges to dam that up for the epoxy to fill those two, um, or to fill that river. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've got the bottom of the river sealed in nicely. Um, I, I've also, I bent up the ends of this board and hot glued those in place as well. So those are sealed up nicely. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay a bead of hot glue right next to each side of this slab. And then that will create a dam for any extra um, epoxy to not flow over onto the slab, making more of a mess. So for those of you that were thinking when I was pouring the, the river on top of my ping pong table, this is a bad idea. I don't know what he's doing. You were correct. Um, we actually, I, I glued one side of the slab down to the plastic and not the other. I tried to glue it from the inside and it ended up leaking on my ping pong table and damaging the top. However, we've got it all out now and we're ready to cut it down to final size. The river looks really good. The blue metallic is amazing. Um, we're gonna go with a 36 inch top. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a straight edge here and then I'll measure over, make my other cut on the other side and then we'll find square and make those final last two cuts. All right, so we got this thing cut down to final size and lucky for me, I actually have a friend with a CNC that could flatten the whole thing for us. He flattened the top and the bottom and then we brought it back home and we started to give it a nice sanding. I went from 80 because this sugar maple is actually very hard. So I went from 80 up to 120 and then finally uh, 220 on all the surfaces. Now I'm going to flip it over and then I'm gonna give a rough sand to the bottom just to kind of smooth it out. And I'll come back, I'm gonna add some steel to the bottom to prevent um, or try and combat some of the cupping that may happen with the top. And then I'm going to 
come back and give a final sand to the top at 400. So the tabletop of this project is done and it looks fabulous. Now we're gonna move on to the base, which I actually purchased from the webrestaurantstore.com and it was 130 bucks. It's a nice welded base. It's got leveling feet and everything. So I thought this would be the perfect fit for this top. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. The top turned out amazing. The blue metallic river running through the middle is just spot on. If you guys like projects like this and you wanna make sure you don't miss out on any future projects, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. If you wanna see a full write up on this, the blog post and everything, make sure you hit that button right there and that's gonna take you on over to the website. Until next time, be safe and happy building.